Hey yo guys, what's up? It's the Inferno one here. I'm back again with a discussion for you guys. I don't do them very often, but you know this has been brought to my attention. Now we're gonna discuss, right? And I would love to see y'all own opinions in the comment section below. Which game is more broken, Xenoverse One or Xenoverse Two? Now let's start off with the predecessor. Xenoverse One had gay ass super souls, right? Yeah, we know, like, boah, thanks for the energy. What else? Um, I'm not gonna be that easy. Shit, they had OP shit. Uh, nigga, might as well use to boost your stamina regen, boost your key regen, then make you move fast as hell at the same time. Imagine that in this game. Um, we had, ab we had absolute zero. Never passed. Could free somebody, super drain them. Or dragon burn and then super drain them. Imagine that in Xenoverse 2, right? Then we had Evil Rod Strike, a move that can potentially quadruple tap you and literally almost one shot you. Oh, let's not forget that it's also an instant move with complete iframe. That was uh, invincible. Oh, yeah, then we have the Kamehameha Cancel. Yeah, the, the move, the fucking broken mechanic, the broken mechanic that you can cancel out of Kamehameha while jumping for iframes. What for I with iframes, right? Right to for what infinite combos to move and maneuver around your opponent and other things like that. So yeah. I'm not knowing they're done. Alright, so let's Yeah, so let's get back on topic. So yeah. So we had the super soul, I'm not gonna be that easy. The Kylo Ken times twenty that made it so if you got hit with something like let's say angry shout or you know flash bomber you know you would start losing stamina rapidly especially if you join their lobby because that will always activate so then you would start getting your stamina drain and then if they wanted to throw something like super drain on top you would never have stamina while you fight them you know all right that's what completely retarded let's not forget the fact uh, if you were not a saiyan or a human and somebody decides that they wanted to hit you one time and just keep drifting back the entire time you had no way to catch them or if they just fly away from you you had no way to catch them if they burn their stamina you, and they just drift back you had no way to catch them unless you was a human or a saiyan that could equip shine and slash and directly teleport to their location Right? Let's not forget that you was not able to vanish out of any combos once you got put in a juggle state. And that you had to use three balls of stamina to, to evasive. Or continue to die. At least in Xenoverse 2, while the hitbox is a big, you can always almost vanish. While people complain about unvanishable things in Xenoverse 2, when actually in Xenoverse 1, almost everything was unvanishable. You get hit up in a little bit of the juggle state. All you do is have the square triangle with a saying, press X, and then you could not get up anymore. And y'all complain about the saying square triangle that y'all can vanish out of. It just has a long knockaway. There's no reason to complain. Like, the health regens. The, I'm neither Kamino nor Piccolo. The retarded health regen on that super soul. Like, niggas still complaining about hmm hmm, but forgot about I'm not a Kamino nor Piccolo in fucking Xenoverse 1. And it really aggravates me when I see that people say that Xenoverse 1 took a more skill when you actually had a race that was above all other races. The male Earthling was, fell short to no race. There was no other race that could really compete with the male Earthling. They had insane priority, insane step speed, insane uh, um, a freaking great stamina regen, had key regeneration. They had uh, attack boost to, to all their stats when, all they, when the key was at max. Like, and y'all think that that's fair? Then we had what? Then we had, um, well, we had moves like Hawk Charge that had instant startup time that, like, you couldn't even see when it start up. Like, come on. Like, there's so much cancerous stuff. Like, a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan could go Super Saiyan and spam just this combination on you. Back to back. And y'all think that Xenoverse 1 took more skill? 
yeah like it, it's only took more skill once you get it to the high up place but overall no Xenoverse one has so much broken tactics and so much broken schemes and some people had a broken way of thinking even more even fake death was still the same you could strip a pole and go up and down and be untouched nigh untouchable now you basically not omnipotent and not omniscient by just being on a stripper by being a stripper go up and down a pole basically rapidly ascending and descending and going up and over like like people who did that i mean it made the cool the battles look kind of faster pace when you did that and y'all going back and forth like the jump vanishes was fun and not as spam spammable but like you can actually hit people out there jump vanishes in this game now they fix that like they're patching a lot of stuff a lot of there's a lot less broken moves in xenoverse 2 than there was in xenoverse 1. let's not forget shine shot how niggas used to drift and use shine shot and use super ghost kamikaze attack and then hide behind genocide shells like i remember all of this I even i used to do some of this stuff like it was so gay like anybody who used a male earthling and always said that they was good nigga you was not just you was really not even that good nigga it was your race more than it was you i was a saying who was competing with male earthlings common how many high canceling i would like to think i was pretty good at xeno one i was competing with male earthlings and other races while being at a disadvantage and not common how many high canceling like they were but you know what? Please tell me what you thinking of Blue Flow. In Xenoverse 1, what you got? Some uh, aura slides, some, some punisher drive that you could just guard and, and, and stuff like that. You got fake death that's purely invincible, but you can still just guard that. Do we be forgetting that in, in Xeno 1, you have Phantom Fist where you can completely just keep doing it over and over and not get hit for the rest of the match? And you got the Freezer Race back hit, which was completely invincible and completely spammable. Like, come on, please just tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, I really feel like Xenoverse 1 is, is like, it's the epitome of cheap and brokenness. And I feel like they did a real big improvement on Xenoverse 2. And that's why I'm not that disappointed in this game. Like, there's a lot more intricate combos. There's more stuff that you could do at the beginning of the game than Xeno 1. There's more reason to play with the other races. There's more transformations. There's more moves. There's more sword modes. There's you have the expert missions, there's a lot more. Xenoverse 2 is an overall much better game than Xenoverse 1 and it always will be. It's not nowhere near perfect, but it's way better. Like, this is it's just so much more. Xenoverse 2 is just Xeno 1 with so much more. Like, I hope you guys enjoy the fights in the background. I'm the Infernal Phoenix and I'm out.